Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss cell theory and extension of cell theory. Now let us begin with cell theory. It was proposed by two scientists. Some of those two scientists is M. J. Schleiden and Theodor Schwann. These two scientists are German biologists. M. J. Schleiden, he was a botanist. in the year of 1838 he was working on plant cell structure and its components whereas in the year of 1839 th schwann was working on animal cell structure and he was a zoologist these two scientists combinedly proposed cell theory and in this cell theory they explained some characteristic feature of cell and how living organisms are made up of and the different functions performed by the cell now let us take some salient features explained by m j schleiden and theodor schwann under cell theory salient features of cell theory here these two scientists said that all organisms are made up of cells they said cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life activities of an organism are the sum total of activities of its cells and they also said that a cell is mass of protoplasm having nucleus cells are similar in basic structure and metabolism these two scientists said that cells arises de novo or spontaneously which means the new cells arises spontaneously or suddenly actually these two scientists missed that from where does the new cells are forming they simply said that new cells are arising spontaneously so actually this is a mistake done by the schleiden and schwann and it was corrected by rudolf virchow in the year of 1855 and he extended this cell theory by adding a latin statement that is omnis cellula e cellula Now let me write extension of cell theory. It was proposed by Rudolf Virchow or Virchow in the year of eighteen hundred and fifty-five. Extended cell theory by giving a Latin statement, "Omnis cellula, e cellula." It means all new cells arises from pre-existing cells. I'm just letting it. Theodor Schwann said the new cells arises spontaneously but actually the new cells are arising from the pre-existing cells for example when we met with injury if skin is lost in that particular hand or in the leg after several days formation of new skin take place that means skin is a type of epithelial tissue which is made up of many cells and from where does that last part is arising that last part is arises from the pre existing cells but here mg schleiden and theodor schwann said that the new cells arises spontaneously it was a mistake right and it was corrected by or which so later on louis pasteur in france gave experimental evidence to the virchow's extension of cell theory after this extension of cell theory it is known as cell doctrine or modern cell theory this is about cell theory and extension of cell theory